this season. Jamie is assigned the role of being an Indian agent where he has to uh, work with the, the Native Americans there and um, they request weapons. Did you convey my request for guns to your king? Young Yen is always identified with the Native Americans, has always found a lot of interest and beauty in their culture and their way of thinking and, and the way they live. I have a kinship with them. What of our kinship? You came well, my reasons. Jamie knows that there's going to be this, this great battle, but he doesn't know which side that the Native Americans will be on, and so therefore he's torn. And it, it's very much the same problem he's had for a long time, is that he, he knows one, which side is going to lose due to Claire's knowledge of, of the future. Um, and he wants the best for, for these people, so he really doesn't know what to do, whether he should serve the British um, or he should serve the Native Americans and their wishes. Here's his uncle, who he adores more than anybody in the world, potentially making a grave mistake that would put who he sees as his people in, in danger. Brianna told me of the injustices the Indians will face. If that is their fate, then they deserve every chance to protect themselves. And if you will only help them, then I will. It's a really difficult situation, and obviously, just the, the more pressure and, and the tenser the situation gets, and as time moves forward and we get closer and closer to this, this revolutionary war, um, Jamie really has to, to make a very crucial decision. Come with me. Dr. Rollins. It's a very interesting storyline for me this season. It's unusual that we see Claire not be in control and not be able to manage what's going on with herself. And Lionel Brown, he's a recurring nightmare to her. She's someone that has always been able to compartmentalize different parts of her lives, but we see her start to unravel this season. So ether's a way to completely black out her mind, or at least she thinks it is. What she doesn't perhaps realize is that it's also something that will cause nightmares. What is it, Susanek? Being in the emotional place where she is and having not really dealt with the things that happened at the end of last season, it's a very slippery slope for her. The scene where she shows the matches to everyone at the dinner table, I love it. For one, there's some very funny outtakes because we did nearly set the place on fire a few times. Brianna, she is an engineer by trade and she wants to put to good use this knowledge on the ridge, but she also witnessed what happened to her mother in season five, and that is, how modern do you go? Obviously, she can't say she's from the future. She can't say, yo, guys, these are actually going to be really useful. I love how everyone played the reaction to it. It was so funny because I thought, yes, that is probably the reaction that you would get. But no one quite sees the value, the huge value, the potential in, in matches. It's instant fire, right? And Marcelie's like, oh, what's that for? And Brianna's like, they're called matches. They're easier to light faster and they hold the flame. You can take them with you and light a fire wherever you go. Marcel at least like, I don't have trouble lighting a fire. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't remember what it is that Lizzie says, but it's equally as amusing. Putting one out, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, it's not the news you expected. But I suppose it's interesting because it sort of surfaces conversations like if you took CDs back to that century, it'd probably be like, well, People can just play the violin and they can play beautiful music. Why would we need that sort of thing? So I think she's just a little bit surprised more than anything that these people actually just really don't need these things that Brianna knows will become such a tool in our lives. Only yesterday we were saying how remarkable it is that you're a physician, you being a lady. Weren't we, Alan? Yes. He doesn't take the slightest bit of interest in the subject of healing. Because I'm eager to learn. Malva is a young girl that has such a fire building up inside of her. Does it hurt? The devil finds work for idle hands, Malva. Be off with you. She's just fascinated by it. Like, I think there's so many bits in the script where most people will be disgusted with, with what they're dealing with, whereas Malva is just enraptured in all of it. Sorry, I did knock, but... And Malva, come in. It's the first sign that Alan sees that Malva potentially leaving the flock. My daughter Marcelie's with child and I'm going to examine her. He might find it interesting. Malva has duties to attend to at home. Well, perhaps another time. Yes. If Malva did this, something that Alan does not understand at all, I think there's, there's a fear. 
because you're spending too much time with Mistress Fraser. You have the same dark soul as your mother. I don't know if, if a woman of her time would be looking for a way out, but she certainly now sees that Brianna and Claire have a completely different life than one she's ever known. And maybe that might be for her. Take that look off your face. Malva knows that at some point this might conflict. And I think that anticipation is one of the things that, you know, as a writer and a, and a creator, you want the audience to have all the time.